In today's video, I will quickly explain to you the concept behind the game instance. The game instance is a core component of Unreal Engine and exists once for the application and persists across different levels. The game instance gets created when you start your application and gets destroyed when you close it. So unlike other objects, if you switch to another level, the game instance will not be destroyed. Therefore, it can be used to store data that should persist between different levels. For example, you can store some information about the player in the game instance. Since the game instance is linked to the application itself, in a multiplayer scenario, each player will have their own local game instance. So there you might encounter some problems when trying to synchronize data between the different game instances. The game instance can easily be accessed through code by using get game instance and the same works also in Blueprint. Obviously, you can override the basic game instance class and create a more specific game instance for your game. If you have created your custom game instance, you can change it in the project settings. Just search for game instance and then you can assign your custom game instance class to the game instance class that will be used for your game. And now every time you call get game instance, you can cast the returned instance to your custom class. To quickly summarize, the game instance allows you to store data across different levels since it is not bound to the lifetime of a level. Like always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.